Hello gorgeous, I'm Cindy, the Old Broad. I hope you're having a great day and a great weekend. Uh, today I'm bringing you a small haul from the month of, three months actually, December, January, and February. Back in November I decided I was going to go not on a no buy but on a low buy because I'd been spending a little too much money on cosmetics. And so I decide to allow myself one frivolous thing a month, and that's what I'm going to haul today. Some of the items you're going to see are on my face, so I'll, although this isn't a face of the day, I'll come in close so you can take a look, so when I refer to these things, you'll know what I'm talking about. Here I come. Okay, that's it. Here we go. My frivolous purchase for December was probably on a lot of people's list. The beautiful Tarte Tartlet Palette. And um, everything that is on my eyes today in terms of eyeshadow is from this palette really beautiful my um then came christmas and i received a christmas present that was a cosmetic so it was hauled but i didn't pay for it and this was a gift from a friend who knows i'm a cosmetics freak but didn't know that i've gone cruelty free it's a chanel blush it's possibly the most beautiful thing i've ever seen in my life It's called Jardin de Chanel, blush Camilla, Camilla Rose. So I haven't used it yet because to me it's very springy in the color. It's one of those things I may try to make last forever since I won't ever be purchasing Chanel again as Chanel cosmetics are not cruelty free. In January, I thought long and hard about what I would purchase. Um, this this was incredibly frivolous, but I couldn't resist, and the way my cheeks and contouring look today, I was not so frivolous after all. It's a Too Faced Soulmate. It, this was, you know, in honor of um, Valentine's Day, and I couldn't resist because this is the Carry and Big palette, and I was a huge Sex and the City fan. Still am. So anyway, this is my contour and my blush today. I thought they might be too shiny. I thought the contour might be dark. I thought the blush might be too bright. Wrong, 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 wrong. Look at that. Gorgeous. Okay, so in February, um, I had an opportunity to go to Memphis, which is about an hour and 15 minutes from me. And what Memphis has that my little town doesn't have is a Target. So that was an opportunity to buy some cosmetics that I normally wouldn't get to purchase. So I decided instead of one frivolous item, I would purchase a number of frivolous items that uh, cost approximately the same as I'd spent in the two previous months. I know it's cheating, but it was, you know, I made an exception for myself. Um... I have a favorite concealer, but that concealer is not cruelty free. Uh, therefore, I'm still looking for cruelty free um, concealers that I like. So I picked up two of them. One is the Yes to Tomatoes Corrective Concealer in Light Tint. I am not wearing this today. Um, I have tried it. I didn't like it. I'm going to keep trying it with different applications. It's one of these. And that just, you know, that method of application just doesn't really, in this case anyway, work for me. So I'm going to try maybe doing it with a brush, doing, you know, rubbing it on my finger, trying that. Eh, eh. Didn't work. Okay, but the other one is number seven, boost number seven, uh, Radiant Glow Concealer. 
it is one of these. Um, it never works for me to just brush this on and have that be that. I have to brush it on and then rub it in with my finger. And uh, this one, you have to work very quickly because it dries very quick quickly. But although it looks a little bit crepey, it's, it's kind of working. Okay, below my lid is a, a Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen. This pencil, it's eye pen? Okay, it's a pencil. Maybe it's got some sort of, um, I don't know. I don't know why they're calling it a pen. But anyway, this is in a violet color. Let's see, they're calling it Black Tulip. And uh, it, I don't know. It also seemed to dry very quickly for me. Uh, I put it on and had to rub it, you know, blend it very quickly. And even then it was already drying. So I don't know. I'm going to play with it and see if I can make it work better. Uh, the eyeliner on my upper lid is the NYC High Definition Liquid Eyeliner. Uh, it's one of these kinds of pens and it worked better than almost any one of these kind of pens that I've tried. Let me let you get a look at that very thin line I was able to achieve. I usually can't get uh, that thin or, I don't know, that really worked for me, I have to say. Okay, right under my brow, I use this LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil in seashells for a little extra highlight. Um, I mentioned this the other day. This is the LA Colors Perfect Curve Mascara. I continue to be very impressed by that. And on my lips is a Pixie Shea Butter Lip Balm. The color is Coral Crush. It's a flat top tube in the tube. It feels wonderful. Uh, this is the, today is the third time I've worn it and um, I don't know if it's doing any curing like a lip balm would, but it's certainly not drying my lips out. So that's a good thing. Uh, and the last thing I got at Target was this e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation with uh, an SPF of 15. And today is the third time I've worn that as well. And so far, so good. Any problems I'm having, I attribute to my primer. Just saying. Very, very dry. Uh, the last part of my haul is a box I received yesterday. It was a huge surprise. I wasn't anticipating it. I sent a small box of goodies to Catherine A. Fisher. I'll link her below. Um, I sent it back around Christmas. Foolishly, I sent it to the wrong uh, post office box, her old post office box. It had to go surface because nail polish was included, so it went, it came back, I sent it again. So, all told, it probably took a month to get to her. But, um, I had sent, it was, a, it was a necklace, two nail polishes, and a lip gloss, I believe, just that I thought she'd like. And she sent me this box. Oh my gosh, y'all. It's it's just, it's so nice of her. Please go look at her. But what this is, is recently she did a huge decluttering of her cosmetics. And as you can see behind me, um, right there, I like nail polish. <laughs> and Kathy likes to look at my shelves and she's observed that. So this is, I think, probably some of the nail polishes she declutters and also very smartly knowing that what doesn't work for her may very well work for me. So I, I have been the fortunate recipient of some things I think she probably didn't like. My guess is I probably will in most cases. Sorry, the camera went out there for a minute, so um, I'm redoing this last portion of the film. So. I don't know how that happened. Never happened before. 
Okay, so um, here's a tour through the great uh, nail polishes that Kathy sent me. First of all, she sent some emery boards, which, you know, you can always use those. Um, and the first thing I want to show you I am actually wearing on my nails today. It's just a nice, neutral uh, satin, I would say. And this, uh, I am using this today because these are hard to read. Okay, so the first one, it's this one on my fingers. It is by Flower. And it is called Too Small for Cindy to Read Even with a Magnifying Glass. The second one, also by Flower, that I need to make a point of wearing before the winter's up. This one is called Budding Romance. The next one, also by Flower. Um, it's a gray with uh, purple and green micro glitter. I also need to make a point of wearing this before the winter's up. And this will look great with my hard candy shadow I won from Courtney. This is called Evening Primrose. Um, I got two just clear top coats. This is an Essie, beautiful kind of pale pinkish beige shimmer called Imported Bubbly. A beautiful Opie, deep purple with a slight shimmer called, oh, this one is French, Louvre Me, Louvre Me Not. Pardon my pronunciation, I took French in high school, but my pronunciation was never great. This is a Zoya, a beautiful gold glitter. It's called Carry. This, which will be beautiful in the spring, it's a beautiful matte peach. This brand is Bonita, which I've never heard of before. And the color is Hostess with the Mostess. This is Hot Ticket by The Balm. It's a beautiful maroonish shimmer. It's called Girls Just Want to Have Plum. Ah, plum. It's looking more brown on screen. It's more of a plum. And this one, the label has come off, so I don't know the brand, but it's called Draw Machine. It's a beautiful opalescent, which I'm not sure we'll read on camera, opalescent lavender. And I believe, I don't um, know how I could it. possibly have left this one out, but this one is Jubilee by Hard Candy, and I will be wearing this one on St. Patrick's um, Day. Back in the summer when Kathy um, discontinued her line of cosmetics, Radiant Lady Cosmetics, I was fortunate enough to win a box of some of her cosmetics. And by the way, I plan to do a much belated face of the day with that. Uh, and I didn't need to send her a gift in return, but I was looking on eBay for something completely different and saw this necklace of a uh, painting I remember her saying was her favorite painting. So I just sent her that with these nail polishes and lip gloss and and now she sent me this all these beautiful nail polishes so I don't know Kathy you might have another box coming in your future this might be back and forth so anyway um that's it my very first haul uh, I'll probably bring you another one in three more months hope you enjoyed bye